morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the euro dollar pair and recent events during the market. Greg? The euro dollar pair corrected downwards in the last session, falling 0.2%. The MACD's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The last session saw the dollar rise 0.4% against the yen. The stochastic RSI indicates an overbought market. The gold dollar pair dropped 0.5% in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. Apple's stock made a minor downwards correction in the last session, falling 0.3%. The Williams indicator indicates an oversold market. Thank you. Moving on to the latest updates in world financial news. The pound was on track for its biggest one-day gain in almost two weeks after data showed British core inflation stayed strong in July while the yuan slipped to a nine-month trough as concerns mounted about a deepening growth slowdown. Wall Street was lower after the release of the Federal Reserve's minutes showed central bank officials were divided over the need for more interest rate hikes at their last meeting. Global hedge funds aggressively sold Chinese stocks amid heightened concerns over the country's property sector and a weak batch of economic data, a Goldman Sachs report showed. Thank you for this. Now coming up, today's major economic event. Japan's National Consumer Price Index will be released at 23.30 GMT. The US continuing jobless claims at 12.30 GMT. The Eurozone's trade balance at 0900 hours GMT. The Dutch unemployment rate will be released at 0430 GMT. Japan's Tertiary Industry Index at 0430 GMT. Australia's employment change at 0130 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial market.